It's Miniature Monday, and do you know where your miniatures are? If your miniature is a giant constrictor snake, buy the Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures Whiz Kids Unpainted line retailing at $8.99 US dollars, then I have it right here. Ooh, scary. That's what it looks like right there. Let's open this. Yeah, great. Fucking snakes. So let's see here. I've had it and up to here with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking table. And then I just dropped the wafer thin base that I can't stand so much from WizKids, but that's okay. It's just an opinion. People can have those. So we have that. Let's pick up our base. You know what I should do is every single time in our videos, if I drop the bass, we need to like musically drop the bass. <laughs> Some of you younger ones will know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so that's going to be a three inch by three inch bass. Let's take a look at what we got for uh, metric system stuff going on here. So metric system shenanigans we got, it looks like. 7.5 centimeters or 75 millimeters for your base. That's what we got going on for that. So, um, you know, good stuff there. So then we got, so that's going to be basically fit pretty much on there like that. So it's going to be significantly smaller than the base. Um, rocking right around six millimeters for the, you know, for the base of this thing. And we are looking at, oh, let's see here about five centimeters for height. A little under two inches for height for uh, for our American compatriots. <clears throat> so that's what we got for that. Not a big fan of snakes. This has got a huge mold line on it, which when you got a huge line there where the where the mold kind of came apart and it looks like this is also so the mold lines right here and it looks like the miniature was fused onto this other piece so it looks like it's a two-piece miniature that this part kind of fuses onto the bottom part so it looks like it meets right there and it looks like they did us a favor and kind of you know, fused it together for us um very noticeable um with scales like this it's kind of going to be a bear to try to trim down and make a little unnoticeable uh, but you guys that dick around with all the 3d printers you'll find a way to hide those lines because some of you guys make some of those 3d printed turrets look pretty damn good for all the crazy lines and stuff that the, the layer lines and stuff that's all over them so yeah work your magic on that and uh and uh you know see what we got from here but kind of cool a little i don't know i mean it, it definitely is a giant constrictor snake there's no way around it. Um, I picked up a, a larger uh, non-venomous snake from Otherworld Miniatures and uh, painted it up. Um, but I saw this, eight ninety nine. They're they're increasing in price for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but but you know it's a pretty big snake for eight ninety nine. I mean this would be a good boss fight for let's say some low levels. You know if you want to throw them in a dungeon and and do that but uh yeah i'll uh have to spend i'll, I'll end up probably spending more time cleaning up the lines on this than i would actually paint it um yeah because painting something textured like this can go really super fast depending on what technique you use however you got to have to try to hide that that's just that's just abysmal so anyway would i buy this again well probably not because i already have another snake like i said from other world miniatures but, you know, if I didn't already have one and this was sitting on a shelf, yeah, I'd probably grab it. So anyway, trying to keep it short and sweet under five minutes here. So um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Uh, do I have any more videos for you? Well, is does Big Mouth Strikes Again by the Smiths my theme song? Well, actually, it's not, but it fucking should be. Anyway, so yes, I'll have more videos coming for you. I just uh, haven't been feeling too well and been just kind of keeping a low profile. So, uh, but I'm back at it. I'm back cranking away, making some videos. So if you got anything you want to see, put it in the comments below. I'm more than happy to hear what you have to say. And then also, um, yeah, like the video, give it a thumbs up. If not, you know what to do. Take care and stay healthy, everybody.